Hi everyone, welcome back to my new model Barmy channel. Uh, two uploads inside 24 hours, what's going on? Well, my last upload was part six of my shelf layout and um, I got some comments on how people liked the cobble effect that I'd done. Um, so, namely uh, Steve Harper, Jeff P and James Demu, uh, this video's for you because I'm going to share with you how I created the cobblestones which I used to great effect on my Lyalcombe Key layout originally. So uh, let's take a look at uh, how I've actually created this effect. Okay, so uh, this is a bit of 4 mil foam board which I've cut on a chamfer and this sort of random shape. I've used a chamfer because it's easier to run whatever you're going to run up to the cobblestones on your layout, whether it be ballast or grass or whatever, It'd be easier to feather that into the cobblestones, I think, if it's cut on a chamfer like this. And I'm hoping the lighting is, is sufficient that it's showing what I'm doing and it's not overexposing. Uh, but basically what I've got here is a, a, a plastic biro, uh, a retractable biro, obviously being used with the nib retracted but I've used one with a plastic end on it because it doesn't leave uh, a sharp impression in the foam board so that's what I've used uh, this type of pen when I've done this uh, effect previously uh, so literally all, all you do is you just literally take the pen and push it firmly into the foam board and what we're going to do is we're going to try and get up to the nearest cobblestone but not overlap so literally it's just a case of running over the entire surface like this. Um, it's not really that time consuming. Uh, if you've got a big area it will make your wrist ache after a little while. Uh, but I'm going to carry on with this off camera because otherwise it's going to be incredibly boring. Uh, and as you can see that's making a reasonable impression into that um, foam board. I'm going to turn that round just in, just in case you can't see it's difficult to see on my viewfinder but there we go so I know you can see it now so I'm going to keep going with that uh, and then I'll show you what the next phase is okay so uh, now I've uh, done the pen imprints into the whole piece let's get that in focus for you so you can kind of see there where we're at so the next phase will be to give it a coat of dark coloured paint so you could use either black or a uh, very dark grey so that's what I should be doing next okay so that's a quick squirt of rattle can matte black so that's now fully coloured and on to the next stage right so the next step is going to be to dry brush some colour onto the surface of the cobblestones um, so generally I like to use enamel paints for dry brushing because I think they're easier to dry brush but given that most people now have gone over to using um, pretty much primarily acrylics I thought we'd give it a go with some acrylic paint to see if we can get that them, these to dry brush properly so I've just literally got sort of four colours here so we've got a mid grey um, here we go um, sort of rusty brown colour and uh, a good old faithful 251 which I've referred to in previous videos as track crap colour uh, really useful paint that is that colour use that for lots of things and I've got some uh, flesh colour or basic skin tone I thought that would give it an interesting uh, lighter um, a lighter sort of hue so uh, let's, I've got my wet palette ready there, so let's, uh, let's put some paint in there and then we'll see how we get on. Right, so I'm going to start with the darkest colour, which is the uh, sort of track crap colour. So I'm sure that most of you are familiar with dry brushing, but the, um, the technique is basically to load the brush but get most of the paint off, so that when you're applying the paint, um, it is literally just touching the tops of the cobbles. So use a fairly short, short-haired, fairly stiff 
uh, brush for this. This is this is a pretty good um, brush. This one for dry brushing. So we literally just you can barely see the paint going on. In fairness, the idea really is that we don't want this all to look too uniform. Really, so there'll be areas where. It will have picked up more of the paint, and somewhere it will have picked up less of the paint. But the idea is that it's not going into the recesses where we've got the cavities between the cobbles. So that's probably. That's probably sufficient. So that's just giving it a, hopefully you can see that, it's giving it a little bit of colour, a little bit of mottling. And of course, doing this, you can just keep adding or colour. Um, just go easy, don't go mad, um, because uh, then you've got to basically go back to black again and start again. But uh, let's try this rust colour now, see what that looks like. Once again, I don't want to cover the whole thing, I just want to I just want to sort of mottle it and there we go, it's getting a bit more colour on now. So I suppose the tendency would be, oh, we think cobblestones, are oh, they going to be grey? But I think in reality they're lots of different colours, uh, which obviously makes for a much more interesting base. So there we go. So that's the next colour on, which hopefully you can... Come see there. So let's try now a bit of the grey. It's got a little bit of uh, bit of the rust colour on the brush, but it doesn't matter that they're all sort of blended together. It's going on well. I haven't been struck dumb. I just uh, I don't generally do, as you know, tutorials. Uh, not that I like to call this a tutorial as such, because what works for me might not work for anybody else, and I don't consider that my methods are the best by any stretch of the imagination. But given that everybody seemed to like the cobblestones on the shelf layout. Uh, I thought I'd just show you how I do them. Here we go, we've got some nice colour variation going there. Let's tilt that up, so we'll see if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It's difficult to get the light in the right place, but there we go. And just finally, we'll um, just wipe the brush off a bit on this on the wet palette. We're going to try this really light colour, but I'm going to use this, I think, sparingly. I don't want to go mad with this. Let's 
just to give it a few little highlights here and there. Given this is a um, uh, what's this? This is a MIG. Yeah, oops, MIG paint. This is uh, not quite as thick as the Humbrol enamels, so I guess you've got to be a bit more careful applying this. It's probably the hardest of the lot to to dry brush. So, yeah, that's not bad actually for acrylic. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. That's that's gone pretty well. So, here we go. Hopefully, you can see how that's kind of mottled, and you can still see each cobblestone because it's not gone right into the dark recesses where we undercoated it with uh, with black. So theoretically, you could leave it like that now. Uh, but what I tend to do is use a panel wash. Um, so let's leave that to dry for a little bit and then we'll come back to it and uh, we'll put a wash on it. Right, next stage then is uh, applying a wash. So um, I tend to make my own uh, washes up. Um, so basically all it is is uh, artist oil paint and white spirit. So obviously oil paints can be quite expensive. Um, I picked up this set here, uh, Crawford and Black from the works, um, which I think was about five quid, something like that. Um, so very good value for money, um, and not expensive at all. And you, and that'll last ages. And you can make loads of different coloured washes. Uh, I've just done the chalk face on the shelf layout with um, a sort of greeny, dirty wash to to bring out the chalk face, which uh, is quite effective. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to run this over the top. We're using a softer brush now for this, and um, we're just going to run this over the top of the cobbles, and then I'm going to give it a a wipe over afterwards. So what will happen is all the all the paint or wash will collect between the cobbles and enhance the it will just enhance the depressions between each cobblestone and sort of bring them out you can see what that's doing now so I'm using a much softer brush to do this um, so I've not the paint to white spirit ratio on this this is quite thin um, so it's not too much paint but you get the general idea because it's, it's bringing out the the depth of the cobbles much more there we go that's good and we're just going to leave that that to dry so that's all uh, dried off now that wash uh, and as you can see that's it's sort of settled into all the gaps between each cobblestone so I'm hoping that I can get this camera to pick up the colour variations and keep it in focus but I think that's come out all right uh, it's fairly convincing for cobblestones so as you can see really simple and easy to do um, just a bit laborious to push the pen in and you you get a bit tired but um, your wrist ache starts aching a bit but it's no biggie. Um, I did Lyalcombe Key and that took quite a while because there was loads of this. Uh, but yeah, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and have a go yourself because it's uh, remarkably easy. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found that interesting uh, and useful. Uh, and uh, remember, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.